Fire's the homie, truth teller, the street reporter. And people always ask me about this blog and shit. I want to speak on this real quick because I don't think people have spoken on this recently, even though I speak on it all the time. But to be honest with you, I hear the bad names about the blog shit. It's steady getting there, instigators, all kind of shit. In my opinion, I keep saying that, you know, I think the blog game is a little bit ahead of its time. So a lot of people don't get it. They don't understand it. It's a lot of shit going on in Chicago, and unfortunately, you know, a lot of young people are speaking on it, and it just look a little weird. The optics look different. I tell people this all the time, and it's not to make myself look big or none of my blog brothers look big, but it's a lot of people who speak for the culture who get millions of views, a lot of subscribers, followers. In my opinion, if the skin look a little bit different, uh, people would be taken different. there will be millionaires by now. It's documentaries and interviews I didn't see in communities that even HBO couldn't go to. Zach TV can go to those communities. I believe if Zach TV was not black, he'll probably be rich and looked at as an award-winning journalist. I tell people that the blogger name is not really a good name, and a lot of people don't seem to understand that. Uh, I tell people this now. This is the best time to get in the blog game, in my opinion. The best time to get in this shit right now is right now because we at the point of time where um, standing in front of a phone and telling your truth and your story, people want to know that reality is real. You barely watch TV now, be honest. You don't be watching TV. You be watching YouTube reality. Uh, I think right now, if you're a blogger, this is the best time. Get in the game, because in a year or two, you're not going to be able to be in this, because the big platforms are going to take this format. So if you're in the game right now, you will be able to, to, to sustain it. But if you just now getting in now, you better hurry up, because eventually ABC, NBC, CNBS, uh, CNN, these stations are going to take this format instead of sitting in front of a chair telling you, good evening, everybody. It's John Henry from the Channel 7 News, and tonight it was a shooting. There was a TV screen behind them, not in the community, not touching it. You know, maybe sending a reporter to stand there, that's not good enough. People want to know who that person was, go to their community, interview them, interview the people who was involved in it, maybe find the shooter, whatever. People want to be in depth, and that's where the blogs is right now. So if you in it, I believe you're going to sustain it. People don't understand this. I think blogging is like stocks and bonds. You got to invest in this right now. Because think about this. I tell people this. Um, I look at blogging as rap back in the day. People didn't understand it. Man, that rap shit, man. They sparking violence. They talking about bad shit. You know what I'm saying? They, they instigating shit. They doing bullshit. That's how they look at blogging right now. You know? And I tell people that. And now I look at rap. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't think people realize that the people who blogging right now in 10, 20 years are going to be looked at as like the pox and biggies and this shit. People don't understand that, that you should invest in the blogging now. Not to just be being policey, because don't get me wrong, this shit that's a little cringy on the internet. 40 bodies, 50 bodies, 60 bodies, I get it. The blog shit get a little crazy, but, you know, that's how they felt about rap. They wanted to ban this shit. I seen leaders get together and say those people are spreading hatred. They messing their communities up. Same shit I hear with the bloggers, cause people are telling the reality. Um, so I think if you're a blogger, get in this shit now. And I think the rewards gonna come later in life. You know, a lot of people don't understand that this shit touch you now. You know, you see the person in front of that camera and ask him a question, he might say some shit that you not might not like. This the drill culture. We're not talking about Moses, and we're not talking about Job, and, you know. We're talking about things you're linked to in a drill culture. A lot of people don't understand that. So it looks grimy. You got to understand. It looks uncomfortable. But, you know, I'm cool with uncomfortable. You know, uncomfortable makes us comfortable, like Nipsey Hussle said, you know. You got to understand that everybody don't want to hear the voice. Don't get me wrong. It be little diss shots and shit going on. I get it. It's hard to clean everything up, but... You know, this is a culture, and it's very violent. It's deceptive, a little demonic. So, you know, it's kind of hard to, to speak good on the culture because it's so much, you know, it's, it's so much of this going on in the culture. It's kind of hard to put the culture in a good light. But I always say this. I think it's more to the drill culture than this videos and interviews. That's the reason why, you know, I had to sit down and speak with Bo Deal.
I got the Bodeo interview finna drop later on tonight. I think it's big for the culture. We get some wisdom in these young people because a lot of these young people doing these weird drugs. They drinking that weird liquor. They doing all kind of weird stuff, you know? So we need somebody to come in and put a little game in their head. And sometimes they don't want to hear from Troop Teller because he say shit like police. They be like, you know, so maybe if we can get both deal, somebody who they know been in that shit to tell them he can maybe sneak a little bit of the candy in the medicine, you know? But subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep your donations to yourself. It's hard out here. You don't got time. Be give me your shorty snack money. His lunchable money. His flame hot money. His chip with the cheese and the meat money. You want to support me? Hit that like button. Bing. That will happen when you do that. It make my videos grow. And a lot of people be able to see them. We almost had 100,000 subscribers. So if you really want to support me like you say you support me. You don't got to send me no cash app. You pause that video right now. Hit that subscribe button. Later on, I should look at it, and we maybe be at 90,000 subscribers. That means y'all rocking with you. But uh, I appreciate the love. It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Got Baby Teller. Y'all ain't seen Baby Teller? Why, Baby Teller? Tell me. You know, when you hit that like button, Baby Teller, I got that thing up. You hit that like button, bing. What you got to do when you hit that like button? You got to smash that like button. Okay, yeah, Baby Teller, tell you, we got to smash that like button. When you smash that like button, what do you make your videos do? It make it don't make them grow. Baby, telling you to forget it don't make my videos grow. Yeah. Okay, it make my videos grow. I appreciate the love. It's the homie truth, tell the street boy. Get, get, get. And we out here.